We design a curriculum that's uh, very industry relevant, right? So a lot of the industry keep talking about deep learning, they keep talking about reinforced learning, TensorFlow, Keras, right? Those are tools that uh, if the students uh, graduate today, right, they will be able to apply for a job based on that skills, right? The industry have been looking for that. And it's a different way of doing computer vision and machine learning together, right, on an affordable platform way, right? So they basically can have access to something that they would be able to afford, buy it, take it home, and continue to have their own deep learning lab for about $200. Yeah, so we divide the class in about uh, three parts. Number one, we have the lectures, and we have indus industry lectures also that's relevant, right, that we get in, of course, in, in autonomous uh, vehicles. And we give them the basic tools that they can do an autonomous car indoor, and then we go from outside track. That's about one third of the class. And then somewhere between half or two thirds of the class is about the project, it's a hands-on. Each of the seven teams have a hundred dollar budget to improve their current car. But that budget is shared between the groups, right? The whole company, we have a virtual company, have $700, seven groups, each get a hundred dollars. The whole point for this class is that we're trying to do a robot that between the perception and the computer system is about $80, a little bit less than that. But some of the students, well, would like to have two cameras or I would like to try a LiDAR, right? Or I would like to have some laser range uh, for uh, obstacle avoidance, right? So those are tools, so I would say, um, those are parts that can buy and integrate. And of course, they have to integrate the hardware, they have to develop the software, they have to document, and they have to present in three different project reviews what I'm supposed to be doing, how am I doing, what's the risk, and here's what I claim I have done. And even if it doesn't work, if the team explain why it didn't work, right, and someone can build on that job, they get good grades, right, because it's part of learning it. It is 100% how actually I run my engineers in the industry. This is exactly like this. They have to work together. And then the evaluation is between how I did something, just not what I did it, right? They have a chance to design something, to prove it to work, and if it doesn't work, explain why it didn't work, right? And they get the fundamental project management, definitely do a lot of the team working, right? And then they learn how to manage a budget also. So it's open for, uh, for all different levels of degree, right? And open for all the departments. Most of our students, mechanical and space engineering, the electrical computer engineering, and some of the computer science, right? We have few that come from other departments, but most of them are coming from the MAE and the EC department. 